Catherine with Dreamcast, and today we're going to talk about fire pit media. We've had customers ask, well, how does the fire look with lava rock, river rock, logs? What's the difference between them? And that's what we're going to talk about today and actually take a look and see how the flame shapes with all these different accessories. When Dreamcast designs their fire pits, we consider the whole appliance. I'm sitting with our Zen 34 fire pit and it has the 60,000 BTU burner. This is the smallest of our burners, but it gives off a substantial amount of heat. This is America's best burner system, and we have overlapping jets of flame to create an impressive fire feature. Our goal is for your fire pit to be aesthetically beautiful in all the ways that count. We have beautiful concrete available in eight integral colors and great warm Fire. So our goal is to help you choose the right media for your fire pit. We're going to start by seeing the 60,000 BTU burner just by itself so we can see the fire we have right out the gate. So then we're going to go take a look at lava rock. That's the standard topping that all the fire pits come with. And then we're going to take a look at the other media and we can see how the fire will be shaped with those different options. We're going to see river rock, fire glass, cannonballs, and my favorite, the log set. Now, let's take a look. Now, we're going to turn the fire on here momentarily, but I just want to go over why we have this distance between the burner and the edge of the concrete. And that's so we have a good safety zone. That's to ensure that if you've got wagging tails, little hands, we have this zone where it's not on fire. Let's light this baby up. Look at this, 60,000 BTUs in our Zen 34. We've got a lot of heat coming out of here. Now, let's turn this off so we can add the lava rock. All right. So we've got two bags of lava rock that have filled the Zen 34 and we've placed the media so that we've covered up the nozzles. You don't want to block them, that's important. If you'll block them, you'll hear a whistling sound when you turn on the fire pit. So just make sure to move the lava rock so the nozzles are hidden but not blocked. That's important. And then you'll see this beautiful campfire flame. Let's turn it on. So you'll be able to move the lava rock around to get different effects with the flame. Some things to know about the lava rock is it starts off black, it will be a slightly gray color as you burn it regularly, and lava rock does break down over time as you use it. So that's when the new season comes, it's important you'll scoop out all the debris, shake it up a bit, and then put the rock back in. Now, let's see some of the other media. We're gonna put something on top of this. So the next media we're gonna talk about are the cannonballs. These are ceramic balls and they're sold individually. So you can have one ball, two, three. Personally, I recommend three being a minimum and we're gonna show you how a set of five looks. But uh, what you do is you place them how you like over the lava rock, over the burner area, and shape the fire for a unique look. And one thing to keep in mind is as you burn them, they will patina. So the existing paint will get covered in soot and change for a unique modern look. Let's see how this looks fired up. Here goes. Now, isn't that cool? So you can probably see that they're starting to blacken from the flames, and that's exactly what you expect from anything exposed to fire. So it patinas, naturalizes it, and gives it a particular look. I just, I love this. It's super modern, they're ceramic, they shape the flame. It is, it is very unique. Here we've got five on display. I've seen some clients just do a proper pyramid with these, and it is, it's just out of this world. Super awesome, highly recommend it.
All right, the next media we're gonna talk about is a river stones. The box of river stones, we got it right here. And we got 80 pieces in a box. These aren't real river stones. And that is important to remember. The main reason is this is a cast product. It's designed to work in fire. Why you shouldn't just go out on the riverbed, pick some rocks, throw them in your fire pit is because real rocks have fissures inside of them. You may or may not see them on the surface, but if there's a line inside of it, what happens is when you put it in the fire, it gets heated up and that air pocket is going to cause the rock to explode. Basically projectiles coming out of your fire pit, which is not what you want. That is why we only recommend to use river rocks that are designed to be used in a fire pit appliance. Our rocks are a gorgeous set. We have light gray, darker gray. They are very realistic and they are really nice modern toppings. And what you do is you place them again over top of the burner area. It's going to shape your fire, give it a unique look. Uh, we're going to take a quick break here. I'm going to fill it up and then we're going to shoot when I light it up. So just finishing off putting on the last rocks here and I mean, just look at this. These are man-made rocks and they just look phenomenal with this mix of light and dark gray it gives it a very modern look kind of zen I would like to say and uh, let's light it up see the shape of our fire light the fire there we go so just turning up the flame here you can see it's different from all the other media we've seen relaxed beautiful just another stunning fire pit option And now we're gonna see my favorite one, and that's the log set. So our four piece cast oak set is, is beautiful. They are ceramic hand painted logs. They have a substantial weight to them and they're just absolutely beautiful. They're flat on the bottom to enable you to place them properly. And you can just see that the quality of the paintwork on these units. So when you place them, it's important that you start with the bottom piece. You'll see it's got the pin. You place it over the burner area. It's, it's an overall aesthetic choice how you place all the pieces. So I'm just gonna put them how I like. And uh, just set this up, we've got four pieces. Each one is unique. So, and it gives you that natural campfire look. Shapes the flame beautifully. So let me just place this here, there we go, stunning, let's take a look and fire it up. Okay, let's turn it on, light it, set her on fire, and when you set the log set up, nice to have a metal poking stick, and then when you've released it, you can move the lava rock around to get the exact look you want. You may need to move some of the lava rock out of the way of the ports when you first set up the log set, just to get that flame shape that you want, something a bit more natural. And uh, keep a listen out. If you hear a, a blocked whistling sound, again, just move a lava rock out of the way and just really enjoy this natural campfire look. All right, now we're gonna see fire beads. Fire beads we offer in a variety of different colors so you can mix and match, get just the look you want. You can either just put it in the central area of the fire bowl, cover the whole top, or just intersperse it with the lava rock. You have a lot of design options with this. Add sparkle to your fire bowl, match to your cushions, you name it, you got it. It makes it really easy, plus, 
you know, you can just change it up over the years. Kind of consider it a renovation to your fireball. Like you paint your walls, you can just change the color of your beads. Makes it super fun. So the beads, we have six pounds per box. In this situation, I'm just going to do the central area so you can see what it looks like. This is the champagne and pearl mix. So you can see we've got a lovely assortment of color options. We've got it's pearlescent, frosted glass, and white. And we're just going to put it over the burner area. Second three pound bag. Put it over that central area there. Place it over. So we've just got a nice sort of sparkle to the fire pit. Release the gas, turn on the fire pit. Here we go. So just listen. If you hear a little bit of struggle there with the vents, that means you've covered up one of the ports. Take a poking stick, one of my handy dandy poking sticks, and just free up those ports and shape that fire. Champagne and Pearl is just one of the eight different colors that you can get for the beads. As an alternative to the beads, we also offer fire glass. And the fire glass you can get in Starfire, which is these lovely clear ones, or you can get in black, which is a very popular alternative. Same approach, either central burner area, or you can do the whole fire pit top, whatever you prefer. Looks awesome either way. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit like, subscribe, and check us out on Instagram at Dreamcast Design. Also, let us know in the comments what media you think looks best. I'm Catherine with Dreamcast, and I hope this video helps you find your perfect fire pit this summer. Have a good one! Mm -hmm.